Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We got a lot of new uh, research in the last episode because we got over 50% aligned with uh, the Disciples of Anu. Now, let's. Now, this research is instant. So we just get it. So let's take a look at uh, fungal food production. A new breed of crops has been developed based on a highly modified version of the fungi used in the traditional Anu method of transubstaining, transubstantiating the bodies of the dead in the fields of transubstantiation. That's a difficult word to say. Capable of thriving in nearly any conditions, the new fungal crops are capable of producing virus-free nutrition in large quantities. The fungi will also prove useful in improving our own food output. Food production facilities increase output by 25%. Not bad. Not bad at all. Then we have the Anu priest class, which we already know because we got him uh, last time, I think. There are some, a lot of new items. Let's read first. The Anu priest, technically called the Heiress of the Prophet, of the dead god is supposed to be an extension of the will of the exalted guiding and protecting the people in her name to this end they have been granted sacred forms of mutation and various holy powers such as the ability to control the minds of the weak and to manipulate the mist cool. however underneath the religious terminology lies an ingenious combination of advanced tech and specialized training put together by the exalted and her closest advisor takiyar nagal we now have a complete understanding of the methods involved in training this class of soldier and can apply them as necessary. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so what do we have here? A Synod head? Uh, I think that's the one that we already have. Armor 12, stealth minus 10. Then we have judgment head. Armor 25, stealth minus 10, accuracy plus 10. That's pretty cool. Oh, and uh, radiant hope. This one, the Synod head. Radiant Hope living allied units within seven tiles recover two will points at the start of turn. Now that is really, really fantastic. And that's this one, instill frenzy. Instill frenzy in friendly characters within 20 tiles for two turns, increasing their, their speed by 50% and making them immune to, mad, to panic. Oh, these are so nice. And then the screaming head, which is the one that we have. Armor plus 12, stealth minus 10. Scream reducing the will points of all enemy units in an 8 tile radius. And then we have the body armor. And the legs. And the redeemer rifle. Virus rifle. Very, very cool. And then we have a couple of new researchers. Uh, mutagen harvesting. We're going to start on... And then I guess we're going to start on that as well. I think. Yeah, why not? All right, so that's all the research. Now, if we look at personnel, uh, where do we have this guy? He has, why doesn't he have any equipment? We gave him equipment. Oh, that's our new uh, recruit. That's our new recruit. Uh, so it's... We have a new uh, Berserker. Half Berserker, half Assault. Brian Mc and McGrath. I thought we already had one of those. Well, oh, that's not him. Carry Beef Chimko. So yeah, so we need to fit her out. And that's a second uh, priest class. So, yeah, a second priest class. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now, we do have a level up here for Christian. And he has ignore pain, disabled body parts, remain functional. Eh. Rally the troops. Eh. Reckless. 30% bonus damage dealt and minus 20 accuracy. Grab that. You don't need that much accuracy anyway. And we'll do... Hmm. 
I think we'll do some strength for you because you, you do tend to get get up close and maybe get hurt. Now I do want to take a look at vehicles. So we have the Manticore, which is our own, and then we have the Tiamat. So the Manticore has a capacity of six speed, five hundred range, two thousand, and a durability of a hundred. The Tiamat has a capacity of eight, a speed of two fifty, so that's halved, but a range of four thousand, so that's doubled, and higher durability as well. So we might want to make one of those at some point. I don't think we really need a capacity of eight soldiers, not yet anyway, because we're doing fine we're with six. So we, we, we maybe don't need it, but we do need a second class, uh, craft. So we I might queue it up, I might queue it up, or just go steal one. I'll have to have a think about that. Now, our containment is nine minutes away. So, what are we doing? Well, we want to head down and destroy this Pandoran nest. So let's do this exploration, this exploration, go back to base and then and heal up, and then head down here for, uh, for this nest assault. So, Construction complete. Explore that. Scavenging site. We could do with more uh, more tech. But we're going to take the scavenging site. So let's go ahead and start this mission. You need some ammo. Let's do that. And everyone else was fine, right? Yeah. Uh, we have a couple of minor wounds. James is quite heavily wounded, but he'll be fine. Let's deploy the squad. Okay, let's see what we get here. Hopefully a lot of tech. A lot of tech. We don't see anyone. Uh, let's see. Food, materials, 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 food, materials, materials. No tech. That's a bummer. That's the only reason I took this mission. Huh. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just have to trade for tech then. At some point. Let's see. You're kind of fine. Hmm. Where do, where do we actually want to go? I think we just want to head out into the middle. So let's do that. Head up here. Couple of enemies spotted. What do they have? Pincer, launcher arm, and spitterhead. So that is the le most lethal combination. Combination, I think. Well, instead of pincer, they could have machine gun, I guess, which would be worse. They have a lot of hit points. All right, let's Overwatch in this direction I got this covered then we have you you really just need to come forward as far as you possibly can so let's do that there's another enemy where's he oh down there okay well, I think we can take care of him. Uh, maybe not. Sniper can't make it over there. Moving Let's to position. Come up here. Ready to fire. Let's take out this arm. That's the launcher arm. Then you need to come up as far as you possibly can. Without exposing yourself too much. 
We have you. I'm on the move. Come up here. And overwatch in a wide arc. And then there's you. Move up here. And overwatch over this way in case that guy comes around a corner or something. And the turn. Alright, he spotted us. Okay, he's. That destroyed it in one go! That's not good. Well, we did a bit of damage to him. He's dead. Okay, what is he doing? Nothing. Oh, there's a thing. I'm thing, here. there's a thing! Alright, let's dash over here and going? smack this guy a couple of times. Uh, dash again. Over let's come over to the other side here. Actually, let's get in front of him. And let's strike. Once. Twice. He did. Right, then you can dash up here and dash up here. Fire that nice shotgun of yours into his groin. And fire at that thing as well. I didn't kill it, unfortunately. But you can dash around no rest for the and deal with it. Uh, let's just dash a bit closer so we're sure we kill it. I think that'll be it. Fire. That was a kill. Yeah, that was the mission. We lost a crate, but oh well. Okay, we got a few experience points. We got most of the crates and everything's good. So back to the geoscape we go. All right, 400 and 400 and we recovered some stuff. Nothing that we haven't seen before. All right. So that's that done. And we'll come down here or this. Ooh. That's a new class. Shindrius Berserker Nialo. You know what? We are going to grab him. Yeah. Let's recruit him. Head back and see what he is. Now, let's take a look at new aircraft. So we, we can't see what their aircraft is yet, unfortunately. All right, let's see. Personnel. What are you? Shendrius Circa Nialo. That looks a little bit weird. Where are eyes? Can you even see? I have no idea. Let's take a look. He is an infiltrator. Okay. Efficiency with crossbows and spider drone deployment. Baseline stealth factor is 25% as long as the character isn't revealed. Cool. Okay. Surprise attack. Attacks from behind gain shock value equal to three times the damage dealt. Wow. Deploy decoy. Deploy a holographic decoy at the chosen location. The decoy is treated as a real target by all enemies. And the new class. Close quarters specialist. Uh, spider drone pack. Deploy three spider drones with one action. Vanish, move within five tiles and disappear from you from the next turn for the next turn or until spotted. Okay, sniperist. 
Sneak attack. Damage dealt while not spotted is, in is increased by 100%. Wow. And bombardier. But what equipment can he use? Nothing that we have. All right. But we'll just stay at base and, uh, and get some levels. I guess. Uh, so, Hamish, you have the shotgun, right? Let's go to manufacturing equipment and make some... Actually... We have the Mercy shotgun now. Well, not the Mercy, but the Mar Mercy was 48. And where's the Iconoclast? That's 4010. The effective range is only six, but I don't really care about that, I think. So let's head back to personnel. It's a Hamish equipment. Grab the Iconoclast instead. And is that the Iconoclast mag? Yeah. So, I think that'll be pretty good. Very, very cool. Uh, we have some levels up, level ups, don't we? Ryun, uh, that is that thing. Then we have Brian, who is level 5. You're level 4. My mouse is being weird. And then we have these two. So these four are for the second squad. Actually, these five are. No. One of you are going to come into this squad and be switched out with, uh, with one of the other guys. Let's look at your training. Mind control. Gain control of an enemy with willpower cost equal to enemies. Or of an enemy with willpower cost equal to enemy's current willpowers. Cost two willpower will points per turn to maintain control. So we need a lot of willpower for this guy. Yeah, we need a lot of willpower for this guy. But we're gonna give him a couple of levels more before we um, before we do anything. Let's just see this uh, redeemer here. What's its effective range? 17, so he is definitely short range as well. Okay. So, gain shotgun and melee weapon for sufficiency with plus 20% damage. That doesn't really matter for him. I think we want dash on him. Maybe. Now, let's... Take a look at one of uh, these guys and see heavy training, sniper training, berserker training, or priest training. So we can actually... That is very, very cool. We can multi-class them into those classes as well. I like it. I like it. Okay, so... Our... Um, uh, this guy. He has the... 12 armor, stealth minus 10, accuracy 0. Now we could manufacture some cool new helmet for him. Couldn't we? No, I guess not. Amphion leg, that's the priest leg armor. Priest body armor. So, what? Does it just grow on his head or something? I guess it does. No, uh, we don't. We only want to see you. Yeah, I guess it does. Okay. Oh, it evolves. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, we do need to go to manufacturing, and we need to make a new razor. And I think we'll make two of them. Look at all this stuff that we can make now. It's very cool. Uh, the Gaul's Wrath. Damage 100. Effective range 11. Um, what's our own pistol? Effective range 18, but damage 50. Action points 1, ammo capacity 8. What does... Uh, Action points two. See, that makes it a lot less interesting. That 
makes it a lot less interesting. All right, let's uh, let's just rest up a bit and then head down and do the Pandoran nest. Scan complete. All right. We do need to heal you up. Okay. Uh, there we go. Now, we have one of the new razors ready. So, personnel, uh, we want you. Actually, we have a couple of level ups as well. Not bad. Hamish, uh, actually, first you, equipment. I want you to have a new razor. Mm, I do want you have to, to, to have a pistol as well. So, we'll go like that. And then we had a level up for Hamish. Uh, training. Um, let's just see. Do any of our other? Um, I don't think any of them, of our, what are they called? Uh, assault classes, have the thing for this thing. That would be really nice for uh, one of our assault classes. Really, really would. But we don't have it. So let's go back. Amish training. We don't want that thing. We don't want that thing. So... Let's go with... Twenty-four strength, thirteen willpower, twenty-two speed. I think that is pretty darn good. I think that is pretty darn good. Let's just go to the top and make sure I haven't missed anything. No, no, you, no, 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 no. And then we're down to the ones that are not coming up at the moment. So he is actually level three now. So he could come out. Hmm. Oh, we need you. We need you. And then you can get one more speed. All right. So, what if we... Transferred you off and you on. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Give it a shot. So we're heading down to the Pandora nest and taking that out. There we go. Locate and eliminate the hatching sentinels to destroy the nest. Threat level medium. Start the mission and deploy the squad. All right. Let's see. Can't go that way, so we're going up this way. Either that way or that way. I think we want to come around this way and have a look. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. So it's going to be interesting with this guy and see uh, what he's capable of. I am looking forward to that. So that costs three action points and four will points. Uh, screen reducing the will points of all enemy units. Okay. And you can stand by and then you can induce panic, but there's no valid target. In mind control, there's no valid target. That costs zero and zero. That's interesting. Let's get our melee guy going up front. Right, there's an egg. Eggs don't worry me a great deal.
Uh, that's basically what's over here. So let's just go the other way around. Let's come up here. See what we see. We don't see anything. In that case, let's come up here. Uh, there's an egg over there. We've seen basically all of it over in this direction. Well, there might be uh, a thing in there. All right, uh, let's move up. And let's just overwatch down this way. And you can overwatch down this way. Oh, I don't doubt that anything will be coming. You can move up. And there's you. Now let's move down this way. And by the way, what does this cost to use? Two action points, all right. Receiving loud and clear. Mm. Sprinting to position. You come up here. Actually, did I just... I took... No, Hamish doesn't have... I didn't take Hamish off. I took... Uh, one of the other guys off. Let's just move up. Alright, that's end the turn. That thing's alerted. So is that preparing now? I think that's preparing now. Well, Iconoclast. Come up here. And let's see what you're made of. <laughs> Not much. So there might be a thing in here. There's nothing up that way. There, there might be over behind, but I think we want to come in here. So let's head this direction. We can't get through there. That's a little bit annoying. We want to destroy these eggs. Wiring target. Doesn't hurt. Not that much anyway. Ready for action. On Up my way. Here and overwatch down that way. And then you can simply run as far as you can. Put you up here behind. you let's move up here and overwatch down this way and you can can't move that far can you oh come down here I'm just doing overwatch down this way just in case. And that's the turn. There was an enemy there. Oh. Okay. Uh, I want you. Let's dash. Up here. Right, something is preparing. That's that egg there, which I couldn't see before. Someone else can deal with that. Actually, let's let you deal with that, because you'll take it out in one shot. I didn't realize it was the shotgun I had there. And you 
the dash in here. There's another thing preparing there. Eh, someone else can deal with it. You can come up here and deal with this guy. Do you see anything? No, there's nothing in there. Where the heck is the thing then? It has to be in here. Well, you're gonna crack that guy. Yes, crap. And you can't even shoot either, so we're gonna have to deal with him in some other way. What's our plan? You need to dash up here. No rest for the wicked. And come in here and take this thing up. Took one down. And then you can come in here. Making haste. And finish him off. Ready to fire. In the leg. Alright. Now there is this thing back here. That's just an egg. You come over here. And overwatch down in this direction. You. Come over here. Overwatch in this direction. Covering. You. You can just stay there. Oh. What's he doing? Okay, so he's down there. But where the heck is the thing that's gonna pop all the eggs? It's not down here. Then we'd be able to see it, right? I think. So... I guess it's in here. You can dash twice, which means you can smack that guy in the face. I can do it. Yes, you can. Let's strike him. And come back towards the target. All right, we see it. It's there. Good, good, good. Now, loud and clear. Moving can you get position. a shot on it? Can. Nice. I think it was already preparing though. And there's you. You can dash twice. Why don't you do that? Dash up here. Uh, no, I do not want to shoot at you. I want to shoot at you. It's dead. And that's the mission. Very nice. Very nice. I'm a little bit surprised there's only one on each of these. I seem to remember there being more in, in the... Um, in the backer build but everyone got a bit of ex experience even the ones who didn't do anything because they share it Amish got the most and babe is very very close to leveling to level seven so max level very nice let's head back to the geoscape realized that i should have stunned that uh, or paralyzed that uh, triton that would have been good but we'll do that on the next mission i guess so we've no uh, neutralized the layer and we have gained some attitude from all the affections so that's nice phoenix project i've heard a lot about you people most of it weird science nerds with guns huh now well, i've heard worse ideas anyway here's the inside scoop on new jericho tobias west probably a genius might be a bit crazy but he has a plan 
And a real plan is a heck of a lot better than all that touchy-feely crap at Sanhedrin or whatever the hell those squid-worshipping disciples are up to. So stick with us, and maybe we'll die, or maybe we'll win. But either way, it'll be fun. Squid worship, worshiping disciples? You're talking that way about my allies? Hmm. Sinidrian probably seems strange to you. Trying to build a better world. A world radically different from the one most of us grew up in. Well, I'm sure it sounds very utopian. But why do we so easily accept the world getting worse and can never imagine it getting better? Hmm. So the world never gets better, or the world can get better, but not the way Sinidrian is doing it, or the world can definitely get better. I would say the world can definitely get better. So... I'm glad our values are aligned, at least in this matter. Please keep thinking about what kind of world you want to live in. Maybe we can build it together. All right, so they like us a little bit better. Very good. So let's look at diplomacy. New Jericho is at 14. Uh, Sinedrian is at 19. And Anu is at 59. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We could go ahead and sabotage a haven. Because... We already have access to their research. I don't know what it does when we're uh, when we get up to seventy five percent. That would be interesting to see. So I I might want to do that, but I'm I'm not, I'm not I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. But let's take a look at our personnel here. Uh, we have these two new, but so we need to make some armor for him. Did we start that? No, uh, armor. Or you. And we still haven't found a heavy class since we lost our first one. Maybe we should just double spec a. or double class two assaults into it. That might be an idea. That might be the way to go about it. But, uh, alright, we are manufacturing those, so that's fine. Uh, we are... For our... Uh, for him, I really don't know what to get. We, we, we can't manufacture anything that he wants. Because we don't have uh, access to Sinedrian's... Uh, this weird class. Uh, the infiltrator training, so, so we can't really do that now. But we're going to head back back to base, just rest up a bit, and then we're going to go, I think we're going to go do all of these, maybe do uh, the exploration site here, Rise by Sin, by Virtue Fall, and then do these missions up here on the way over to America. We want to get a um, area scan going at this site here, so we can get over this way. And we, this scan is almost done, so maybe we should head out and do a scan out here or something as well. So there are a lot of, of areas, and we really need another craft so that we can get a second squad going. That would be very, very useful. So we can cover a bit more ground. So I think we'll uh, we'll work on doing that, and I think we might go and steal one of the disciples' ships, or maybe go steal a Sinedrian ship or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we move along. But that is all we have time for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.